<laughs> repopulation. <laughs> And welcome to the Walking Dead Maniacs. I'm your host, Kevin. Joining me as always is Felix. What's up? And the lady of the hour, Gina. Hey, y'all. Today we are going to be talking about Tales of the Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 3, titled D. We have the cold open. On a boat, Brooke tells Nolan to get ready for the dinner party. Brooke meets up with D, Pre Alpha, and Lydia. As they enter the di dinner party, Billy, the bartender, asks D, Why is her daughter sitting with Brooke and not her? He then proceeds to insult D. D walks out of the deck where Brooke meets up with her. They discuss Lydia's birthday, and D saves Brooke from a net of walkers. Cut to Alpha confessing to an unknown person that she killed her father at age nine. That was yeah, that, that was a strange opening because I didn't recognize Brooke and that man. And I thought, well, this is a little bit strange. But um, the bartender, Billy, was just, he was awful to her. Yeah, he straight up tells her, dude, he's like, yeah, he goes, you should try a little harder, you know, because basically... He was the Kevin of the group, where he was just straight up, you know. And he, he says, you can look better than what you do now, basically. But long story short, I was a little uh, iffy on the bartender myself for some yeah. reason. Just, just the way he came at her. And then um, when that net came down, I thought Alpha was, was just going to shank her. Because I'm like sitting there thinking... Alpha's getting pissed. Alpha's getting pissed. Alpha's getting pissed. Right. And when she went like that to kill the walkers, you know, I totally thought it was going to kill her. But, um, and we Lydia, should mention probably, I mean, so people aren't confused if they haven't seen the episode. This is all on essentially a large river boat. Um, so that's why there's a net falling in. I mean, that's where they're at. They're in the swamp or on a river. So Lydia too, did you know that she's actually related to the Lydia in the last episode in the flashback when they met Beta? No, I knew there was a lot of similarities, but I did not put that they were related. Yeah, because um, I always go in and check the names and, or, or I pay attention to the names when they're popping up. And I'm like, I know this yeah. person, that person. And um yeah, they had the same last names, and then I went into their profiles, and it actually said that they are sisters, which was cool. And we're going to talk about it at the end, but the continuity on this threw me for a loop. But I think I know what, what, what happened, but I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. All right. Well, Dee, in her room with Lydia, questions herself if, he, if she meant to kill Lydia's father or not. Some of the others meet up to discuss the disappearance of Mr. Langston. D is sus about Billy, the bartender. As D and Lydia get ready for dinner, D takes a knife. Lydia tells D that she can go and leave her on the boat with Brooke because it's safer. D catches Billy sending signals to someone offshore. He denies it and to Brooke jump and jumps off the boat thinking D's going to kill him. Cut to Alpha confessing to an unknown that she was mad in the basement and Lydia saw. I think when she says she was mad in the basement, I don't think she's talking about emotion. I think she's talking mental. No, I think, well, we, we totally skipped the first uh, Alpha confession where she killed her father at age nine. I was like, what? Right. That, that shows she was always like that right. she she was probably born evil but back well, to this I what she meant by that is she killed um she killed lydia's dad she is a little nuts like we said like from the <laughs> beginning but she's she knows what's up she knew well, uh, billy billy was gonna do something go ahead I just I knew she was a little nuts because if you go back to The Walking Dead when she's talking to Beta and she's telling him, you know, that she turned her back on Lydia for just a second and Lydia had the dry clean bag, the dry cleaning bag over her. And she said, I waited until she turned to blue before I helped her take it off. And then I slapped her 
and told her not to ever yeah. do anything like that again. Do that so again. you kind of knew she was a little throwed off right there. <laughs> Right, well, as Dee and Brooke argue over what's best for Lydia, Billy and his henchmen take the boat. It turns out that Billy has an appreciation of the way Brooke runs things. He just wants to kill six of Brooke's weakest people and replace them with his men. Billy says if they're going to rebuild the population, they're going to need the best. D, gunshots, dinghy. Cut to Alpha confessing that she ran towards the repentance, but you can't run forever. Yeah, that was nuts. Um, that's why he killed the uh, Mr. Livingston in the beginning, because he wants right. to just get rid of all the weak people and bring in, you know, because he says his guys are all strong. Did you get the hint that he wanted to get with Brooke? And, and yes, I think he was thinking of way. repopulating. Yeah, yeah he, he wanted to he wanted to do some repopulation with her. My favorite part of this whole scene. <laughs> repopulation. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I'm going to use that. <laughs> okay. My my favorite part of this whole scene was just the fact that they go right back to the human emotion. You know, the human emotion, when you get scared and you think you're going to die, the guy that Brooke was in bed with in the very beginning, she was, he was giving up this girl and, you know, and then they were going, well, we'll help you find Lydia and D. <laughs> we'll help you find them if you want to kill them. And, yeah, you know, they're, let they're us right, live. Right. Take them, take them instead of me. <laughs> right. They're literally all going up in there, man. Yeah, that was a little nuts. But um, they never showed where Brooke, you know, looking at Alpha saying you were right. I wanted that to happen because Alpha foresaw all of this. Right. But yeah, Alpha, came, Alpha comes out, kills the guy that's got um, Brooke. Brooke. She, she shoots a couple guys, then jumps in the dinghy. She knows uh, uh, Lydia was in there, and she just starts rowing to shore while they're all fighting and killing each other off on the boat. Let me and get a drink, too. Hold on. <laughs> Joke. But because um, Brooke had helped Lydia hide because she had told Alpha, no wonder Lydia is scared of you. And then Alpha couldn't find Lydia, or D couldn't find Lydia anywhere. So she asked Brooke, where is she? And she didn't tell her until these other men came on the boat. And Which she said she I, like, the I like, you You could tell from the beginning, Lydia knew her mom was nuts, like we say. Right. And it kind of goes with what her character does. You know, it doesn't really turn on her mom, but knows it's wrong. And it goes with the survivors instead of being a whisper. Yes. Hmm. All right. Well, making it to shore, Dee hides herself and Lydia in a walker to avoid other walkers. They come across Brooke as they head out. That was yeah, gross. They, yeah, that was, uh, that was a trip. Yeah, she split a walker. She split the ribs open and made like a, like a little one-man pup tent with this walker and, with the spine and the ribs and I know you're a big Star Wars guy, Kevin, but it was like when uh, Luke and uh, 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 Luke and Han and Hoth were Han. Oh yeah, right. And yeah, then they go inside. I looked for a the bad print that has that, so I could flash it right now, and I couldn't find it anywhere. But yeah, that <laughs> reminded me of that right away. But yeah, she splits the zombie in half, and then they go in there because a lot of the people made it to shore. Half of them are dead. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, walkers everywhere and such. They go up and they meet Brooke. And right away, Alpha was just going to kill her, but Lydia stops her. So yeah. this also, you know how she like, uh, so she cuts Brooke across her face and says, you'll always remember me because of, you know, every time you look at that. She's also another character I feel we're going to see in the future because yeah. she does have, Brooke does have a Walking Dead vibe. Now she's got that cut. And for some reason, when Alpha did that, I'm like, she did that for a reason. We're going to see. Yeah, her we're going to see that somewhere, somehow, we're going to see that scar. Um, yeah. And I don't know if it's going to be in The Walking Dead. But there's a I, reason that they showed us 
Alpha cutting her <laughs> face like that. I'm thinking because with Evie and Joe, they might, uh, with, when I said they might go with the uh, the Negan show, the Negan and Maggie show, I'm thinking she's going to pop up there too. See, and I'm think I was thinking maybe she's going to show up in the Commonwealth at the end of the series. Like maybe she her and Lydia might, will but... see each other. Oh, so it'll be like a a a, a, and a book and to Lydia story, pretty much. Yes, because she always wanted. Oh, I didn't even think of that. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Well, and because I mean, Brooke obviously wanted to live the fine the finer life and she wanted to be safe. So the Commonwealth is the perfect place for her to have ended Unless up. Unless she's even there and they just haven't met up yet. Yes. Well, Lydia's not at the Commonwealth. Lydia yeah, that's what I was going to say. She, she hasn't even been there. So yeah. but she is. She will be there because there's supposed to be a big old fight at the end. So Yes. So mm -hmm. I just think that that's, that's the kind of life that Brooke was trying to create on the riverboat. And so I really think she's probably there, and her and Lydia are going to meet up. Yeah, that, that would be And cool. maybe Lydia is going to have to kill her and finish what her mother started. That's pretty mm -hmm. good, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm huh? never right in my predictions, but that's what I thought <laughs> when I first saw <laughs> that. They're my good, predictions They're, never good. come out correct. I just thought she was going to be the Negan and Maggie show, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Dee and Lydia encounter an RV park. Then some walkers. Lydia runs off because she wasn't ready to kill walkers. Yeah, Alpha's making her kill a walker. And you know, you've you got to give D or Alpha or whatever it is that you want to call her. I just call her Alpha. you got to give her credit because when Lydia freaked out and ran off, Alpha just dropped that canopy and, you know, the, the walkers was, fell and they couldn't see anything. That was a pretty good kill. She killed him over the canopy. Yeah. I, that was what was up. So, but yeah, I mean, again, you can tell that Lydia was just never about her mom. She knew she was a nut. She wasn't ready to kill her first uh, walker, and she just booted out of there. She took off. Yeah. Even now, when she went with the uh, survivors, I think Alpha was okay with it. She knew she was safe over there. Yeah. But, um, now that it's over, the continuity, how do you think it fits in with the backstory that we already know from Alpha and Lydia. See, if you go by the age of the child, I thought that this was all after they had met Beta, which didn't make before. any sense unless they went back to get him. But then Lydia still has her bunny in this episode. And in the episode where they meet Beta, she gives up her bunny. Yeah. And D introduces herself to Beta as Alpha, and she's already, her hair's already gone. So she must have met, her and Lydia must have been on a run. They must have gotten separated from the other whispers or something. I'm thinking there was a conflict between Hera and Alpha. And there might have been. Alpha took off, met Beta, and thought, this dude's big and I mean, Beta's huge. Yeah. And she went back and probably fought, either fought Hera or, or killed her like in her sleep or something. And then that's when she took her face and she became, you know, the alpha of the whispers. Right. So basically Beta got his face first because when she killed Beta's brother, best friend, which whatever yeah. he was, and he was so upset about it. He took that man's face and the T-shirt, right? Yeah, he because when he dies, it shows that he's still wearing that shirt. Right. Yeah, that's probably, what. Okay. I had to so think it, about it, it a lot so before there, I there put is it no, So there, there is no continuity. You just have to know what happened on the show, pretty much. Right. Yeah. Because at first, I'm like, this doesn't fit for what I know. This doesn't fit from you know, what we saw. And again, it was like, well, maybe if this and that, and I pretzeled it a little bit and it did fit, but I, again, I had to pretzel a little bit, but yeah, the way you say it sounds, sounds good too. Yeah. Kevin, really quick. I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Reading, reading the ending of this episode, did it pique your interest at all? 
Um, yeah, a little bit. Like uh, the I like things on boats to begin with, so uh, <laughs> I, I like water and stuff. I like I like so you know something like this. And plus, I always thought you know if you're if the you're on, in an apocalypse, having a boat, uh, a moving boat, such as like a river boat like this, would, would be a good idea. And they were going to take off from the spot they were at the next day, right? Yeah, they were going to go get fuel. And think about it. The thing about a river boat is you're not on the open sea. So as long as you can go from place to place but, on a river yeah, boat, you, you can, can scavenge anywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, Fear the Walking Dead showed that uh, walkers can swim, not really swim, but walk underwater. But, and I mean, it, it, it's easy to take them out. You need is just like a spear and yeah, and just right. get their head. So boat, honestly, like Kevin said, is the best. Yeah, best spot to be. Yep. But when you think about getting supplies and stuff, they they had it pretty easy. They could just dock somewhere real fast, run and get supplies, and take off again. Yeah. All right, uh, it's time for ratings. As always, we are going to go ladies first. Gina, what did you think of this episode, and how would you rate it? I I don't know, four and a half, because I felt like we already had enough of the Alpha backstory hmm. that we didn't need any more of her backstory. So I didn't... and. The continuity, you know, I had to really think about it. I had to really go back in my brain and, you know, try to put stuff together. So it just took too much. You had to think a whole lot to make this episode yeah. fit into the rest. So I would say about a four and a half. All right. Yeah, yeah I, was, about I was, you? was going to go low too, but not that low. I think the <laughs> ending saved it for me. You know, the whole where, where Hera's going to be her her new, the face that she wore, wears in The Walking Dead. The beta thing, like like you said, like the first half of the show, I'm thinking the whole time, how does this fit? How does this fit? How does right. it fit? That I had to watch it a second time to pay attention to what was going on in the show. The story was mediocre. It wasn't the best, but, you know, Alpha is a character I like and, uh, you know, Lydia and just to show, I'll see a little bit more of her. I want to go six and a half, seven. So okay. I'll, six and a, I'll go seven. I'll go okay. seven. So that puts this roughly at about a five and a half ish, somewhere around there. Which is kind of low for a yeah. Walking Dead episode. It but is. It, it's I, pretty I can low, see it. but. I, yeah. I can see it though because again it, it just left left you thinking and like I said at the end I was like you yeah, you know it ended really good but so you're saying just, the whole the, it was muddy it was just muddy right it, it was yeah. muddy yeah I, li I like that term I, I agree all right guys uh, if you like this review please do all the youtuber things hit that like button subscribe leave a comment tell us what you thought of this episode. Um, I do believe that does it for this episode of The Walking Dead Maniacs. So for Gina and Felix, I am Kevin saying, try to stay alive, everybody. Bye.